Good day, everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game New Kingdom Gardeners. Now, New Kingdom Gardeners is a biblically themed game, and the object of this game is you're going to be trying to collect the most amount of fruit uh, by the time the game ends. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be planting seeds in your garden. You're also going to have to deal with thorns that could affect you negatively. And you're also going to be able to use different types of workers and the main gardener that you're going to use in order to accomplish these goals of trying to collect fruit. And you're going to be doing this until the master gardener shows up. And at that point, you're going to go ahead and harvest. So let's check it out. So the object of the game is you're going to be trying to get the most amount of points by collecting fruit. Now the fruit is going to be represented by these cubes. This represents one fruit, this represents five fruit. In the beginning, everybody's going to be receiving three fruit and also two doves. Now doves are going to be used to activate the different workers and the main gardener that you're going to have in the game so you can use their abilities. In this section, you're going to have your gardener. You're going to be planting your plants and trees over here and this is where you're going to have all of your different workers. Here's one of the gardener cards. Each of them are going to have the ability to do these four actions. Pray, plant, prune, or appoint. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. This particular one also has another ability which says you may use the ability of any worker in any garden as this ability. And so you're going to be using the doves over here to activate these. It kind of works like a worker placement. There's eight different ones that you can choose from and I'll go ahead and show them to you. And they each have an added ability as along with the original four abilities over here. And in the beginning, you're going to go ahead and deal out two of these to each person, and then that person will go ahead and choose one. So I'm going to go ahead and select Sister Prudence over here for mine. you got several different cards that you'll have in the game. Here are the different worker cards. Here's the Assistant. Um, this is going to be their ability, and each of them are going to have abilities. Here's the Fisher. This one is the Trader. This is the Manager. And again, each of them are going to have their own abilities that they can do. Here's the Monk. Here's the grower, and then here is the reaper. Uh, now, to use these, you're gonna place a dove on one of these to activate it, and then you're gonna pay its fruit cost over here. The fruit act works as currency and as endpoint scoring. Over here are what are called thorns, and there's a bunch of these different types of thorns over here. Anytime you draw one of these, you're immediately going to go ahead and plant it in your garden, which means you're going to go ahead and put it to uh, the right. And as you're planting things, you're going to go ahead and continue to move these down. Now, this game has a unique thing called creeping. What that means is as you're planting things here in the garden, um, and if you end up, say, planting something else, what's going to happen is these are going to go ahead and shift over to the player that is next to you. Now this game goes counterclockwise. Now in order to get rid of the thorns, you're going to prune them. However, in this game, you can actually prune other people's thorns. You can add workers to other people's gardens, and you can also add plants to other people's gardens. The reason you might want to do that is so you can get some bonuses, and I'll talk about those in a little bit as well. Here's a few of the plants that you'll be able to uh, plant in your garden. There are several different types over here. This is how much that is going to be worth. Um, you can actually spend this from your garden or from your hand along with the currency in order to uh, do these actions. Or there's a certain card that will allow you to take these off of your board and put it in your own little discard pile and count it up as points when the harvest happens at the end of the game. These are what are called miracle cards. Once you get these, you're going to go ahead and immediately plant them. You'll also immediately plant the thorns whenever you get those. And this is the Master Gardener card. Uh, once this gets drawn, you're going to go ahead and end the game, and then you're going to go ahead and harvest all of your plants and count up your points. In the beginning, everybody's going to go ahead and draw five cards, and you're going to go ahead and plant your thorns. Now, if you happen to have more than two thorns, you're going to go ahead and discard one, and then take another one until you have at most two thorns. You're going to go ahead and plant any thorns that you have in your garden immediately like so. Now as far as the actions that you can do in this game, you can do four of them. You can pray, which basically means you're going to go ahead and draw two cards on your turn. If you draw a thorn, you're going to discard it. You can plant, which basically means you can go ahead and just uh, take a plant card from your garden and plant it in the garden. So in this case, I would move these two over and then I would just do that. That would be a plant. You can prune, and to prune, what you're going to do in your own garden is you're going to pay two fruit, either from your hand, from the board, or from um, your collection of fruit over here. And you'll pay two of that, and that will go ahead and remove the thorn from the garden, and you'll go ahead and discard it. Now, if you discard a thorn from your opponent's garden, you'll go ahead and spend the two to prune, but then you will take this card and put it in your own discard pile, and this is going to count for three fruit at the end of the game. So on my turn, let's go ahead and say I'm going to go ahead, I have two doves that I can place, so I'm going to place one over here. I'm going to go ahead and, and a point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a card, 
and then I'm going to go ahead and appoint a trader over here. So I'll place the trader right here. So later on in the game, I can place a dub over here and then activate his ability and do what the card says. And so then it goes to my opponent and we're basically going to repeat the process. So uh, once again, I'll say, okay, I'm going to do this. And let's say I decide I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, this is going to cost one fruit. So let's just say I take a fruit off from that. I will go ahead and decide what I want to do. I'm going to go ahead and prune. What I'll do is I'll draw a card. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this card and discard it out of my pile. And so that will be pruning. And I'll go ahead and spend two for that. Uh, for this, this one says swap a card in another player's hand. So let's just say I decide I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I've gone ahead and gotten another card. Now, one thing you can do is you can actually have teams of gardeners. So if I happen to have, say, another trader, I can go ahead and place it on here like this. And what that's going to do is that's going to give me some bonuses. Uh, if I end up putting the second worker on there, for example, I will get two bonus fruit. If I do that with on another garden, say he had a trader and I placed another trader over there, um, that would grant me three fruit. And this goes the same with these. So this will allow you to get bonuses as well. And you can have up to four of the same workers in each slot. Now you can also plant plants in your opponent's garden, but the only real reason you would want to do that would be to try to move the plants over and maybe hope that you would get a plant that you would like to have. At some point, somebody's going to draw the Master Gardener card, and that is going to go ahead and end the game, and you're going to go ahead and count up all of your points. First thing you'll do is you'll take off the doves and any of the cards that are in your hand. You'll remove those. Any thorns that you have in your garden, you're going to go ahead and discard and take three points off any fruit that you have over here in the garden or on your workers, you'll go ahead and count those as well. And then if you have any fruit here, you'll count that too. So you'll go ahead and count up all of your points and whoever has the most amount of points is going to win the game. Uh, I've noticed lately that uh, Christian themed games have gotten a lot better uh, than they have previously in the past. And I think this is another good game. Um, you have a lot of choices as to what you want to do. Your different main gardeners, you've got eight different ones that have different abilities. Then you've got seven different types of workers that have different abilities. On top of that, you have the choice as to whether you want to try to help your opponent out by pulling out thorns and collecting points that way. Also putting plants in his garden, trying to kind of shove some of the good plants off. You've got like four different actions that you can do with the main gardener. So you definitely have a lot of different choices that you can do. And I like the little worker placement thing that they do with the does. The creep feature is a very cool feature. Um, the times I have played, I have had thorns creep in. The game isn't a very hard game to learn. They recommend using a couple of specific gardeners to learn the game in about an hour or so, but after that, you pick up on it pretty quick. So this game does give you a lot of options. I uh, love the Christian theme. You have like the thorns that say like wrath and anger and things like that, and then you have the miracle cards um, too. So it works well, I think. It's a good game. All right, guys, that's my review of New Kingdom Gardeners. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.